Hello everybody, it's Mirialda here once again, and welcome back to another figure unboxing. Woohoo! Yes, this is part of the August 2023 under $80 pre-owned haul. Uh, she actually is part of the under $50 part of it. Um, so pretty pretty good deal. Uh, this is the Succubus Luxilia. She is an original character. She is a 1-7 scale figure manufactured by Luminous Box. Luxilia released sometime in June of 2022. Uh, I got her at AmiAmi pre-owned AB condition. Uh, I ordered her on August 27th of 2023. Paid for her on the 28th. She shipped out on the 30th and got here today on the 31st. So this figure, price-wise, is very cheap. She has definitely bargain binned. And... I've been interested in her pretty much ever since she was up for order, but I've always talked myself out of it, and I know on at least on Discord and stuff, I've probably said some pretty bad things about her, especially like I know I've said her face was bad. And yeah, from certain angles it is, other angles it's not so bad. I Like I said, I think that really was just me talking myself out of buying her because I was interested, but I didn't want to spend the money at the time. And I'm glad I didn't because she got cheap. Um, how cheap? Well, 6,980 yen or $49.90. So under $50 cheap. <laughs> I was originally, I had a, I think it was either B plus or B, B, B or B plus in my cart. And I was going back and forth. Do I order? Don't I order? Do I? Don't I? Finally, when I decided to push the button, I pushed the button and it said error in your cart. And the one I had in there was sold. So, paid a little bit more and got the AB figure. But, yeah, I think it'll be worth it. So, yeah, the Xilia. We'll spin around to the side. And we see a silhouette of her and the succubus Luxilia. From the back, they know the important angle. So, your her boobs and her butt. And the... All the information. Spin around to the other side. Again, a silhouette. Back to the front. There is the top of her box. It's like a heart shape. And then the bottom of the box. So, yay. Um, I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. I finally found a video of her. Uh, unboxing and everything. And... There's some parts of her that I had never noticed before. So when we get her open, we'll talk about it. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, just checking. Okay, so the bottom doesn't have a seal or anything. The top is sealed. Let's go ahead and get her open. And now she is no longer A or B. <laughs> That's okay. Go ahead and... Pull the top open, pull her out. Uh, inside of the box, it's like a argyle pattern. So, kind of diamond shape. Nothing super exciting. Put her box off to the side. And there is Luxilia in her blister packaging. Letting the light shine on her a little bit more. And we'll start spinning her around. I should have found the a picture of the original artwork I will say the original artwork does look a lot better than the figure but that's the case in 99% of artwork compared to figures still I think the figure will be good okay now that we've done a spin around let's go ahead and lay her down and cut her open and get her out of the blister and get her put together it shouldn't be hard to put her together I think it's just sticking her on the base so yay. It's a very tight seal, tightly sealed blister. So lots of noise taking her apart. Go ahead and pull out her base. It is wrapped in a plastic bag. So the base is translucent frosted, uh, is it black? Yeah, I think it's black plastic. It has the little succubus heart symbol and gold painted on it. She does have three metal pegs. One goes into like a molded piece of plastic for her foot and one for her toe. And then the other one for her other foot. 
These two are kind of short, but they should be enough to hold her, especially when you got the little bit longer one in the back. Uh, copyright Suzu, Suzume Yatumi, made in China. And that is the base. We'll go ahead and pull out Luxilia now. So she is wrapped in plastic. She is pretty weighty. Okay, so one of her horns has stabbed through the plastic, so we'll carefully remove that. Uh, she does have plastic around her arm and around her tail. There's plastic going under her hair, between her hair and her dress. It is catching on things. Okay, it was wrapped around her wing. Uh, some more plastic between hair pieces. And over here, some more wrapped around that piece of hair. And then she's got some foam wrapped around a... Feels like a maybe metal chain. Okay, I think she is now all deplasticed. So we'll go ahead and set her down. Clean up the mess a bit. Get in there, get in there, get in there, go off to the side, and go all over the floor. Oh, yay. So, Luxilia, let's take a look at her. So I'm going to take off my glasses so I can focus up close. So she is making a little O mouth. I do not see any teeth in there, so just an O mouth. Uh, she is blushing a little bit. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but there are blush lines under her eyes. She's kind of got a sleepy, sleepy expression. Maybe she's like yawning or going, oh, um, cute little pointy nose. So I think the main thing that I didn't like is her cheeks. They're kind of, I don't know if they're like puffed out or anything, but it kind of makes her face look more square than it should. But again, that is only from certain angles. Like you look from the side and it looks okay. Um, so her dress, it does uh, have some straps going up over her breasts and around her neck. We do see she has a little bat wing brooch or something up there. It's uh, red and it's got some straps around it. That is painted maybe a little bit messy up there on the straps but again it's a tiny detail under her chin behind a bunch of obstructions so you're not really going to see it and then she does have a little little gold necklace with it looks like maybe a little heart pendant holding the other bow at the top of her cleavage um she has big boobs, and you can tell that the dress is tight and it's lifting them up because they are squished out the sides of the strap. Uh, cleavage does appear to be slightly welded at the very bottom, but it's deep enough that you won't be able to notice. Uh, at the bottom of the boob window, we got another jewel and little metal, metal looking accent piece, and the chain attaches to it. This is a real chain, so you can see it moving. It is very fine. I don't know if it's metal or, pl or plastic. It looks and feels metal to me. Um, also, around her boobs, she has little wings coming from underneath them. I never noticed that detail before I saw that video. Uh, we do see a vacuum-sealed belly button, and I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but this is one of the other details that I never really noticed until I saw the video. But the dress is painted in such a way that it actually looks translucent. Like you're seeing her belly flesh through it. Um, it's not translucent. It is solid plastic. But it's got that effect. And when I saw that, I'm like, wow, I'm getting her. So yeah, one of those little details. I think you need the bright light to actually notice it or see it. And then you, I was looking at her belly button, and I'm like, wait a minute, that looks like her flesh. So yeah, anyways. Uh, Luxilia is also wearing gloves. Uh, the hand holding her skirt up, ring and middle finger one piece, and all the rest are individual. Her little Ojo hand. 
Uh, it does look like uh, ring and middle finger are again one piece, but everything else is individual. Uh, the little, I guess it's supposed to be fur around the cuff for, for glove. Eh, it looks a little bit blobby. It's not painted badly or anything. It's just not really sculpted well enough to look like fur to me. Um, end of her gloves have some little ruffles on them. Looking from the side, she has glorious side boob. Um, and if we tilt her just right, you might be able to see some glorious strap gap. Not a whole lot of it, but it is there. So yeah, um, moving back up to her head a little bit. <laughs> She's got some horns. She's got little uh, kind of golden uh, bun holders, I guess. They're like two mini crowns around her buttons. And then some ribbons hanging off the bottom of them. Uh, she does have human-shaped ears. And the hair is nice and red. Don't get many uh, redhead figures anymore. Uh, I have a few of them, but this one looks pretty good. There is a lot of shading in there, so lighter areas and darker areas. The sculpting is also pretty good. Really good. Actually, really good. Um, I never noticed, but she does have wings. They're little wings. They're coming out of her butt. So in an accurate place for if she was actually flying with them. But the wings are very tiny, so I doubt she will fly with them. Um can't see it unless you look like from here yeah we're, we're not looking at her butt we're trying to look at her back but her back is bare there is a spine line and the chain does wrap all the way around her um head does not come off so not going to really be able to see her back very well so if that's your fetish Maybe not the best figure for you. But again, you got the skirt. Uh, her tail is peeking out from under the skirt. Again, there is some shading on the tip of the tail. And I just noticed some shading on the tip of the wing. Uh, she does have a little strap around her th right thigh with a little cross on it. Um, looking under her dress, she is wearing uh, uh, like bikini bottom. So you got a little bow up there, and a little strap. Um, they don't cover much in the front, and if we tilt her down, do see her belly peeking at the top of them. And you can see, like, the V-line. Spin her around, and she's got a booty. So, looking from the side, you can see the booty sticking out back there. And you can see the booty crease and everything. Uh, her flesh is not the soft-touch paint. It does feel a little bit rough painted. But that's okay. That's how most figures are. Um, she is barefoot. All the toes are one piece, but sculpted. Toenails are sculpted, but they do not appear to have paint. And you can see some of the tendons for the toes as well. Uh, looking at the bottom, we do see the three peg holes and toes. Uh, backs of her knees are sculpted. A little bit of shading around the kneecaps. So, overall, pretty good looking figure. Let's set her down so that we can tilt the camera down and get her on the base. Should be relatively simple. And then we see when we go to put her on the base that her feet do not line up. Wow, do her feet not line up. So let's see if we can spread the legs a little bit and get that foot on the peg. Again, this would be easier without a camera in my face. So I'm sure the bottom of her foot's probably a little bit scratched up now. But she is now on the base. So we'll put her up on the turntable, pick the camera up, and we'll do a spin. 
So yeah, from this angle, you can kind of see what I'm saying if you look at her face, how it looks a little bit more square. But then if you get to the side, it looks okay. Um, looking slightly downwards, as is typical of anime figures. Spin her around. Gold chain wrapped around her booty and everything. Um, that is one thing to watch out for, is since it does appear to be a metal chain, even if it is painted gold, I'm sure it's not real gold, so it may eventually have issues. I know that is an issue with some other figures with real chain, it like rusts or corrodes or stains. But, I mean, it is what it is. For right now, it looks looks good. And yeah, uh, relatively simple pose. She's standing there leaning kind of to the side, cocking her hip out, lifting up her dress so you can see her little bow. She's got her boobs. They're covered, but they're kind of hanging out. The little wings cover the nipple area, so you can't tell if she's uh, cold or not. Let's go ahead and zoom in onto her facial area. Uh, let's make you all dizzy. There we go. So yeah, good ear, good face from certain angles. Again, the original artwork looks better in the face area and some of the fine details and everything, but you also can't make uh, like chains that aren't connected to each other. So some sacrifices need to be made when you make a 3D figure. Um, it does look like maybe an extra piece added on there, but they've blended it in a lot better than a lot of companies do. So yeah, looks good there. We'll go down to an important bit, the boobs. So you can see the little squish where the straps are lifting them up. So that looks good. And I mean, being a succubus, she definitely wants to be attractive to as many men as possible. And most men love boobs. <laughs> uh, there's her belly. Looks good. And then her legs. Uh, let's make it dizzy again. So yeah. As I said, not a super complex figure, but there is a decent amount of sculpting detail. And the paint is done quite well. Especially, like I said, once you get the bright lights on her. And you can see, like, it... it does to me it just looks like it's translucent showing off her flesh under that dress even though it is solid plastic and solid paint so yeah this is the succubus luxilia she is a 1 7 scale figure manufactured by luminous box she is an original character uh she released sometime in june of 2022 I got her at Ami Ami AB condition. She has bargain bin. She costs 6,980 yen or $49.90 for a scale figure. Basically brand new. And yeah. Um, I know, like I said, I've said bad things about her, but I'm sure it was me talking myself out of buying her. She looks actually really good to me right now. The face, yeah, it does have issues sometimes but overall i am happy with this purchase especially for the price so i hope you enjoyed i'll see y'all next time bye bye